Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back. We're going to do a quick video today on how to set up your active captain account and transfer your uh, mapping and your software updates and connect the app to your Garmin devices. Uh, with a couple clients today who have a uh, four-year-old sea hunt. So this Garmin mapping is four years old. It was stock. It's what came with the units on the nav chart and also the software is out of date as well. So I've already put the memory card, the 32 gig blank SD card, just get one from the drugstore or wherever you go. This, these Garmin's have not been registered to anybody before. If you just bought a used boat and the Garmin has another active captain email address or user in the uh, Garmin already, you need to go into menu, you need to go into settings, and you need to do a reset default settings. And then you also need to call Garmin and make sure uh, to remove the old user's email address off of the serial numbers for the units. And only Garmin customer service can do that on the active captain backend. So resetting the default settings on the Garmin takes care of it here. But then you have to call Garmin customer service and make sure that the previous owner's email address connected to their active captain account does not associate their active captain their active captain account with the serial numbers of these Garmin. So you have two steps uh, that you have to do before you get started doing this if the Garmin's already have been registered to somebody else. First step one, we're going we're going to go into menu and settings to Wi-Fi network. We're going to make sure that's on and we have our device name here device is connected zero and that's it for now we just need to make sure it's on and pulled up and then i'm going to go on her active captain account on her phone and start the process there now if your garments are nema 2000 together then the update and the chart mapping will sync to both. If you if you do it on one screen, it will do it to the other one. You don't have to do two screens individually. First thing we're going to do is we're going to connect the app to the Garmin. So we're going to go to connect. All right, so we registered. He already had the unit IDs registered under his active captain account. So then I came to Wi-Fi and I connected the phone's Wi-Fi to the Garmin. So now we're connected. So let's go back to Active Captain. All right, it says we're connected. So let's sync with Plotter. Insert a blank memory card, which I have already done. So I'm not sure why it's asking for that. Active memory card detected. My marine devices download data usage menu. We're going to go to Wi Fi or cellular and we're going to go back. And there we go. So it's starting the software update. So we're going to let that run. Once this gets done and doing its download for these units. It should sync up to this now and automatically start uh, relaying the software updates over to the Garmin. And you can see the active captain community, the data from that is already starting to transfer. So once the active captain finishes, it should, or the software update finishes, it should sync it over as well. All right, so the software updates came in. Now it's preparing to transfer software update but it's still not done with the active captain one. So once that's done, it will start doing it up there on the software update side as well. Once we're done with that, I'm going to work with them on buying their new mapping that includes sonar charting uh, on the Garmin. So if you go to chart, can it hit stop, delete. Um, this is where we can buy the charts. So we'll go here, we'll go to my charts, and then obviously we don't have any, and then this is when 
So update available on the Blue Chart G3. Maybe we'll try that one first. Blue Chart G3. I guess it comes with, it says it comes with fishing charts. So maybe we'll just buy that one for a hundred bucks and see what that gets us. Um, or you can do shop now and you can do Mexico, Caribbean, US and coastal. You can get the whole United States for 200 bucks. You can do US South for 150. That includes fishing. It looks like that includes fishing charts, nav chart, all that good stuff. So, and then the best one is this one right here, the Garmin Navionics Vision Plus. That's the one that shows sonar charting, relief shading, has navigation fishing, raster charts, satellite imagery, and it also has that relief shading for you guys that are fishing Tampa Bay or fishing offshore. It'll show you a lot of those ledges and contours um, and rocks, rock piles offshore when you're offshore fishing. I think it goes out to like 100 feet, something like that, maybe a little further in some areas, but that relief shading in there is definitely awesome. It's it's worth the 400 bucks a year if you're fishing a lot. But these guys don't fish a lot, so we'll probably either stick with the US South region, Navionics Plus, or maybe we'll just do the Blue Chart G3, the, the update that they're saying, which comes with that fishing chart and it looks like it's only a hundred bucks. So we might try that first. And it has officially started transferring the software update. We're at 10% and it's showing it here. So I pulled up the Active Captain app on the Garmin and software of uh, set Active Captain card, select memory card slot one. Format card. It's, was it slot one or slot two that popped up? I think I put it in I, slot one. I think it was slot one. So you have to format the card that I put in the unit. That takes a second. Software is still downloading. Mobile device connected, no software available. It will, it, that will come around here in a second. So we, had, we just have to go through each of these. So the, one of the most confusing parts about this is when you get into the Active Captain app to get started, it's going to want to do all this stuff using your home Wi-Fi or whatever Wi-Fi network is closest to you. I find the easiest and the simplest way to get started is don't connect your phone to the marina or the your home Wi-Fi. Connect your Wi-Fi to the Garmin unit and have those two connected. And then do all of your data transfer and all of the mapping and all of that stuff through Active Captain using the cellular, using the 5G on your phone. That way it kind of keeps things separated because I don't believe you can be hooked up to two different Wi Fi networks at the same time. So you're connected to, we're connected to the Garmin units Wi Fi right now. And then I'm doing all of the setup through Active Captain through the phone's cellular 5G. And you saw me do that earlier in the video where I switched the settings over to Wi-Fi or cellular uh, in Active Captain. All right, software updates are almost wrapped up and then we're doing the $100 upgrade or update to his current charting. That should get him the fishing chart package, which obviously you guys know that I like a lot. Uh, more detail, the better, in my opinion. And then we'll get to transferring that over once we buy that. All right, so we just completed the $100 purchase for the the Blue Chart G2 upgrade. And then you can also start seeing the active captain. See all the little green anchorage and then the hazard warnings, the boat ramps. That's all the active captain stuff has now been pulled in. Software updates are still working. So I'm waiting for this to load the chart so I can go to my charts and then I'll show you how to download the charts on Active Captain before it will let you transfer uh, the region over to your unit. All right, so updates are ready. So we'll go ahead and hit OK. And it should start uh, dragging them in. Yeah, 
install now. Yes. And then it's going to go through the reset and it will put the new Garmin software program on it and it'll be nice and new. Network updates in progress. It's, I believe that means that it's doing it to the other unit as well. This takes some time. You definitely need to set aside probably an hour to do this whole process. Restart. Once again, we're still working on just the software updates. It's still doing its thing. They are, they are rebooting. Let's hit agree, accept. We're still, we're back to active captain. Active captain memory card, okay, manage card. The software updates are there. So look, everything is the new, the new Garmin platform, all that good stuff. But no fishing chart because we have not upgraded the charting yet. So let's go back to home. Let's go back to vessel, active captain. We're gonna go back into the Wi-Fi on our phone and we're gonna reconnect the units on Wi-Fi. All right, we're connected. We're gonna go back to active captain. We have to reconnect everything. Boat app, it's searching. There it is, we're back connected. So we gotta download it. So we gotta go here, downloaded charts. There we go. So we'll just do the Bradenton area right now. And we're gonna hit download. You have to do this on your phone first, preparing download. Now we gotta wait on that to download the chart. Shouldn't take too long. You have to download it on your phone and active captain before you can transfer it to the chart, uh, the chart plotter on the boat. But as you can see, we've got a bunch of green check marks. Everything's been done. Now we just got to get the new charts over. We'll be looking good. All right, so I think we're good here. So let's go back to chart. Yep, we are good. So we'll zoom in here. And it downloaded all the quick draw contours. I don't like the quick draw contours. It makes it messy to me. But we'll go to fishing just like that. And then I'll show you how to turn off. Well, it hasn't, okay, it looks like it hasn't fully loaded yet. That's why it looks all scribbly, but um, go to settings maybe. I don't know. Either way, we are, we are good to go. Okay, so now we can go back to boat apps and we can do updating community markers, sync with plotter, charts, transfer pending, see that? So now that we have some charts downloaded, it's pending, the active captain community thing has to finish. We already did that, so I'm not really sure what it's referring to with the step one of two thing. Uh, it must be downloading some more stuff, but now we have charts transfer pending. So now we have to wait some more. And then I was just explaining, you know, you bought, you have the mapping for the entire country, right? Like that's what we paid for, for the, the blue chip G2. But if you want charting outside of the original box, like see that, that's the original box that I downloaded. Like let's say we want to go to the keys, then we would go to the keys and we would put that box here and we would download everything inside the box in the keys. And you would just repeat that process until like this. Let me go here, let me go to download charts, and then we'll zoom out. And then we'll put the keys in the box and then we'll hit download. And then it'll download all the charts uh, inside that box at the keys. And then the next time you come to the boat and you hook the Wi-Fi up with your phone to the chart plotter, it will automatically start transferring those charts as long as you're on 5G cellular in settings in the Active Captain app, right? In the Active Captain app, go to settings, make sure it'll download this stuff using 5G, using cellular, and then it will automatically transfer all of these new boxes that you uh, downloaded to the chart plotter. But right now, it's just a waiting game. I've got the first one done. Go back to sync with plotter. Transfer pending, I'll let you know when it's done. All right, just started transferring the charts. All right, so the charts are done. Quick draw community, now it's doing that. Uh, we'll go back 
we'll go down to charts we'll hit the top right menu button we'll go to downloaded charts okay he said he wanted fort myers so i'll zoom in to fort myers naples area and we'll download that box preparing download and then the same thing will happen this will download to active captain and then it will automatically start transferring that new box of chart over to the chart plotter there you go so we've got the whole southwest florida bradenton sarasota area all in there so it'll start transferring we'll go back to here we'll go back to there and it's back to transferring now it takes a minute for the especially the fishing chart and all of this new charting to load it might take 10 15 minutes to fully load on the chart like as you can see i'm zoomed in right now on the fishing chart and it's starting to pull those contours in but it takes a minute to fully come up so give your chart some time to load those charts in and uh fully display the map that you put on all right everything is done it's we got green check boxes once again it has still not pulled up we're going to go to vessel we're going to go to active captain everything's done right um, everything has been pulled in quick draw is still working but um, once again it takes these units the unit has the chart it, it has it in there so you can tell that it's starting to pull in the fishing chart and all of the contours but it hasn't brought any color to it yet and it will you just have to give it time it will bring color to it it might take 30 minutes i don't know but go run the boat around but keep your phone connected to it just in case and uh, it will start popping up eventually but the only thing i would say is if you want the phone to connect and automatically do these updates every time you get on the boat um, pull up your active captain app every time you get on the boat make sure your wi-fi is hooked up to the garmin not hooked up to anything else hooked up to the garmin only and it should start automatically doing software updates and it should start automatically um, transferring any new charting over that you may have bought or any updates to that chart but always go always start here in the active captain app and then get on your phone and it'll kind of uh, if you're linked up it will guide you through the process once you have it all set up and connected then it will kind of prompt you on the app to tell you what to do from now on but this was the hard part we've been sitting here an hour waiting on all this stuff we're going to start some training i hope that helped please leave a comment if you have a question i'll do my best to answer it as soon as possible uh, make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed it and check out all my other videos, uh, all of my deliveries, all of my trainings, plenty of content on the channel if you're new here. Thanks again.